Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about how we can debug Python code in Visual Studio Code. When you are using a Visual Studio Code IDC, you guys know that you can write a Python code there, but how you how you can uh, debug it, right? So that is the idea. So let's see that. So I have a folder called a debug demo, which I have opened here, and there is a sample.py file, and there is one function called greet which is taking input parameter name and basically compiling hello and whatever the value we pass and it is giving back into the message variable and returning this this whole function is getting called here uh, inside if name equals to main so if you have seen my python videos you already know that if i run this sample.py file directly here uh, then underscore underscore name variable hold a value called main so the this piece will execute because the condition will become true so name is a special variable which will hold the value called underscore underscore main underscore underscore when you are running the same file so here we have a variable called user and that variable we are passing it into the greet method which will return the message and finally printing the message so let's maybe I want to debug this. Uh, let's run this code first. So to run the code, you know that you will go to the terminal, you will go to the new terminal, and you will simply type Python space sample py. So when I run it, it will print. This is fine. Uh, but for some reason, I wanted to go to the ex execution line by line. So put a breakpoints wherever you want. Breakpoint means this red color dot in this side, left side. So I'm putting it at this function starting and also at this function starting okay so let's see what will happen in python code execute from top to bottom so first it will execute that means it will compile this imagine like it is reading that method and keeping it with it it is not running it it is just reading it when you call this method that means when you call here that time only that function actually executes okay so now uh, how to debug this right so go to this uh, run and debug menu hit this run and debug and select this uh, uh, debug the current active python file so select that when you do that you see that uh, in the command prompt and you see this the red color uh, button or, or a dot what we have put it hit there so from here if you want to move to the next steps you need to click this one step over which is f10 you can use the f10 syntax also or step into means let's assume you want to go inside the execution then f11 so let me put f select f10 there so it came here uh, and again f10 so the name variable will become uh, uh, will, e will be equals to main so it should run so you can see here right see also remember this this uh, variables locals and watch this consoles help you to read the values in a variables so right now my execution came here and uh, in the locals in this particular blog if you see the special variables uh, all these are special variables and you see the name special variable holds the value main so that means this condition will become true so again f10 so i am going below now the user is a variable which will get created with a value mahir so let's run that you see that user variable uh, let me minimize the special variables you see for this function a user variable is there so that has a value called mahir and now greet right so now i want to go inside the execution of this greet method so i can click the step into f11 so when i do that execution go back to that and uh, yeah whatever the value i pass name right see the name variable so now this this entire block will become locals to me hence you see in the locals name variable is there and mahir because my execution is there again uh, f10 yeah so the message value became my hello mahir and uh, you can see the same thing here as well and again if i press the f10 it will come back to execution here now the whatever the value we get it from here it will come back and store it in a greetings variable so if i turn f10 you see greetings variable value become uh, hello mahir okay and when i run this now it will print the value also here in the console but before that what is this watch watch help you to check any variable values or expression values uh, maybe let's assume here greet uh, I'm right now my execution is inside this blog, right? So that means this greet method I can call. So what I want to watch is maybe to the greet method, I will pass value called Wafa. So if I do that, what will happen? This is what I want to watch. So when I hit enter, you see it will return hello Mahir because greet method returns 
by compiling this message and that's what it written here so basically watch help you to watch any value in a variable or maybe executing some expression again next to that particular execution scope and see how the values look like so this is all basic and let's assume you don't want to debug anything you want to continue so you hit this continue f5 so it will go it will come out of that execution and it will run and it will hit the next execution point you see it printed hello mahir if f5 is not making sense let me rerun this i will show you so i am running this now uh, now you it see yeah, the execution stopped here now when i hit f5 directly it will pause at a next execution point so maybe keep the execution point here and remove this see when i when i run this see it will directly come here and stop so f5 will hit the next execution point uh, or a debug point um if there is no debug point next debug point it will directly go and run rest of the remaining code for you so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea how to put a breakpoints and how to debug the python code using visual studio code thank you for watching have a nice day